Hello, hello, hello. Today is Wednesday, November 29, 2023. It's early in the morning for me. You follow the solutions to problem 187. The binary star. It's covered in great detail in my lecture 24 of 801. I arrived in that lecture the square of the orbital period. Well, I'm asking you what the orbital period is, but I give you here the square. The distance between the stars is R1 plus R2. If you don't understand why, go back to my lecture 24 and it will be crystal clear why that is the case. It follows from the above equation what r cube is, because this is r cubed. And so you find r, and you know the masses, and you know capital G, and you know t squared, and so the radius is 3.16 times 10 to the 10 meters. The distance between the Sun and its closest star Proxima Centauri is about 4.0 times 10 to the 16 mass meters, sorry, meters, about 4.2 light years, which is about 1.3 times 10 to the 6 times larger than R. The binary in this problem is the famous X-ray binary Cygnus X1. Mass flows from the 25 solar mass supergiant to the 15 solar mass black hole because the two stars are so very close. The radius of the supergiant is about 20 times larger than the radius of our Sun. Because of the very small radius of about 45 kilometers, of the event horizon of the 15 solar mass black hole, the gravitational potential energy that is released is so high that the gas near the event horizon has a temperature of millions of degrees Kelvin. Thus, it radiates largely in X-rays. Our sun has a bloody temperature a black body temperature of only 5600 degrees Kelvin, which is much lower. The X-ray luminosity of Cygnus X1 is therefore about 10 to the 20 times larger than that of our Sun. I suggest you take a look at this website. I really urge you to do that, because you will read a lot more very interesting things about Cygnus X1. You see a picture here, it's very clear. You see here, we call the donor star, <laughs> because it donates more mass to the black hole. This is an artist conception. See the flow of matter onto the black hole, and of course, you can only see the X-rays when they are radiated just outside the event horizon. My next problem will be posted in January 2024 in a somewhat new format, format which will be less work for me. Well, it's a little bit early, but Happy New Year!